and we will go to Dan Rail first. Go ahead, please. Thank you very much. Hey, Bob, I was wondering if you could uh, just give the, the thought process of selecting Schwartz uh, as Tyson's opponent when uh, obviously as the, the big name in the division, you guys could have gone in any direction you wanted. So what was it about Schwartz that made him the guy? We looked at the rankings, and we saw that virtually all the organizations, uh, Sh uh, Shavars was uh, a top five guy, uh, top two in the B BO. Uh, we had never promoted him or anything to do with his people, and we reached out for them to see if they would be interested. He's an undefeated fighter, popular in Germany, 24 wins and no defeats. And we felt that he was the best possible opponent uh, for uh, Tyson Fury. Uh, one thing we wanted to make sure is we weren't going to match Tyson Fury with a small heavyweight uh, because obviously long term his uh, goal uh, is to fight Wilder. And uh, at that point, Joshua, which of course is less likely now. Uh, and uh, uh, so we wanted a big guy. Uh, Schwarz is uh, uh, six foot five, and we felt that it would be an interesting and a good fight. When you saw what happened between Andy Ruiz and Anthony Joshua, did that make anybody at top rank a little nervous? Because, uh, you know, obviously you, you made the fight, you know, like you said, hoping for a good fight, but certainly not expecting your guy to lose the fight. But then you see what happens. Uh, when Andy Ruiz, who you're very familiar with, uh, goes and scores one of the great upsets in modern times, um, it reminds you that anything can happen when two big guys are in there swinging away. Well, if you did some research, you'd find out what happened in that fight. But that being said, uh, uh, you know, we uh, uh, know that anything can happen in a heavyweight fight. Uh, somebody asked a question, which has seemed far out, but is really apropos. When Max Schmeling knocked out Joe Lewis, uh, nobody expected that. Uh, uh, fighters have a history, particularly German fighters. I remember when George Foreman won the heavyweight championship by uh, beating uh, Michael Moore. Uh, we wanted to make a not-so-difficult first title defense for him and put him in with Axel Schultz. And they, all of the judges gave Foreman the nod in that fight. A lot of uh, sports writers from uh, Germany and also the United States believe Schultz won that fight. Heavyweight boxing, anything can happen. All right, great. Thank you very much, Bob. Appreciate it.